The UK, of course, is mourning the death of the Queen. But as King Charles noted, it was also a full life for his mother. So it's also a time for everyone to look ahead. And the excitement is alive and here with the pomp and pageantry that can be felt across this country as the public is now gathering to witness history and the start of a new era for the monarchy. This morning, King Charles III formally ascending the throne at St. James's Palace. And in carrying out the heavy task that has been laid upon me, and to which I now dedicate what remains to me of my life, I pray for the guidance and help of Almighty God. In a ceremony including the Queen Consort, the new Prince of Wales, and a group of senior British politicians and dignitaries, Charles III, formally proclaimed king. God save the king. Gun salutes firing off all across London, hailing the new monarch. The national anthem playing for the first time since 1952 with the phrase, God save the king. An emotional King Charles addressing his nation and the Commonwealth for the first time in a pre-recorded message from Buckingham Palace. I speak to you today with feelings of profound sorrow. The king also acknowledging his sons William and Harry, passing on his former title to his heir William, naming him the Prince of Wales, and his wife Kate the Princess of Wales, a title not used since the death of Princess Diana. Our new Prince and Princess of Wales will, I know, continue to inspire and lead our national conversations, helping to bring the marginal to the centre ground, where vital help can be given. I want also to express my love for Harry and Meghan as they continue to build their lives overseas. His Majesty also honoring his late mother. To my darling Mama, as you begin your last great journey to join my dear late Papa, I want simply to say this, thank you. King Charles and his Queen Consort Camilla greeted by well-wishers as they return to Buckingham Palace Friday, shaking hands and even sharing a kiss with members of the crowd. Oh, I'm going to take that kiss forever. His Majesty telling Prime Minister Truss how much he appreciated the condolences that poured in. It's a moment I've been dreading, mm. as, as I know a lot of people have, but mm. I'm trying to keep everything going. The king also acknowledging that his new responsibilities will prevent him from devoting some of his time to charity work and the issues he cares deeply about, like climate change. Rainforests help keep our climate cool, yet they are being destroyed at the rate of a football pitch every four seconds. At 73, King Charles III is the oldest monarch to ever ascend the throne. But this historic moment, something he has been preparing for for decades. Oh, I don't think we should expect King Charles to be somebody that will just go along with the status quo. I think he'll raise questions. I think he'll be a well-loved king. Of course he won't reign as long as Her Majesty the Queen. Of course he won't. But he'll be the grandfather of the nation. And he is certainly busy. The king is taking no time off. He has a packed schedule today. He will be receiving the Archbishop of Canterbury at Buckingham Palace, followed by a visit with the Prime Minister and then members of the Cabinet, and then another meeting with leaders of the opposition party. So a full day for the king today and the days to come. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.